Okay, so um, we've been playing with magnetic fields and magnets and pulse motors for years on end and we think we've got the magnetic field all down pat and then someone throws in a curveball. Um, this is a little experiment I'm carrying out um, that was initially posted by parts man over at overunityresearch.com um, showing quite an odd effect. Um, what we have here is just two neo magnets stuck together so we can assume one pole is here and one pole is there of course um, I don't know which one's what because I seem to have lost my compass but anyway it doesn't really matter for this experiment because it doesn't seem to bother the um, wire here at all so you'll see I've got a wire copper wire thin copper wire going across the middle of the magnet, or the two magnets, so it's in the dead centre, um, and that wire runs along here, and you can see I've put a bit of a curly bit on there just to give it a bit of springiness, um, and then there's a screw on the back of that post with my clip lead on it, and then the same up the other end, we have another post, a little bit of squiggled up wire, just to keep a little bit of tension on it, but so the wire can stretch when it needs to. Um, and so we have a clip lead each end of the wire so we can pass the current through it which is up there on my power supply uh, I'll be putting 3.5 amps through this wire um, and what we're going to see here is quite odd as far as I'm concerned so the wire at the moment is sitting dead direct um, on top of the middle of our magnet which is our two magnets joined together and now becomes one magnet and I'm going to switch the current on and we're going to see what this wire does. So as you can see there, the wire's flowing around the magnet and stuck to the middle on the other side. So that's almost dead in the middle. I've put it slightly offset, it's probably about a mil offset from centre now on this side. We'll push the button again and we can see that the wire flies around the magnet and sticks back to the middle now you might think it's just hitting that but um, we'll have a look in a later test if I move the wire slightly or the magnet slightly back towards us so our wire is now about one or two mil just off the middle on that side and we push the button again we can see the wire flies around the back and sticks to the middle so we haven't changed the polarity of the current flowing through that wire but it doesn't seem to bother the uh, magnetic field around the wire whether it goes around the north side or the south side of the magnet. Now if we swap the polarity over what we see then is the wire sticks straight to the middle of the magnet and even if we turn the magnet around it jumps once again jumps, we don't have to swap the polarity so if I offset that just a little bit to the front side of centre jumps around the front So it always wants to be attracted to the middle of the wire for some reason. So we can get the wire, I mean the magnet is supposed to be a nice even field all the way around, a three dimensional field which is supposed to be uniform around our magnet. So one would think if it's going to jump around both sides with the magnet that way, So it jumped around the north side first and then it jumped around the south side second but if we turn the magnet around even though it jumped over both sides or both fields in that direction we now see the wire wants to stick straight to the middle of the magnet and we haven't changed the current flowing or the direction of the current flowing through the wire 
So why is our magnet happy or our wire happy to jump over the magnet south field? Oh, not quite enough. Oh, it's in the middle. So with the magnet facing, uh, what would that be? That's east-west at the moment. This side's east, that side's west. Um, with our magnet facing that way, it'll jump both poles. But if we turn it this way, and I'll just tighten my wire up a little bit. It's had the big droopy. It's not getting hot much. We'll lift it right up there like that. <coughs> Push the button and it wants to suck straight onto the magnet. So that is a real oddity. <laughs> Nearly had it standing vertical then. So it's come around the front side. Push it slightly off centre that way. Goes around the back side. So with the uh, poles facing east-west this way, um, that's just the way it's sitting in my shed. Um, so north and south is actually on the east-west plane. It won't make any difference. I wouldn't have thought if we spun it round to uh, face north-south. But um, that is very odd. So I've got a... Uh, Neo here and that's on a non-magnetic um, carbon rod and I don't know which way I've got it round okay so we can see it wants to stick to the middle and that's fairly powerful I might just turn the current down a bit so I can show you that it does indeed want to stick to the middle 2.5 amps Oh. But you can see the wire move with the centre of the magnet. So it's repelled from the north end and it's repelled from the south end of the magnet. If I turn the magnet come in from this direction, we can see it wants to push up. Turn the magnet around this side it wants to pull down to the middle. So, um, don't ask me what's going on there because I wouldn't have a clue as to why being repelled by both fields and the magnets facing this way and then being attracted to the middle when the magnets facing this way if the fields are all supposed to be even. So there's a uh, brainstorm for you guys, work that one out.